Hi, my name is Kevin Perry, and I give you tips and tricks on how to build your brand and bring your business into motion. In today's video, you're going to learn how to create a YouTube channel for your business. Everybody wants to know how to create a YouTube channel. And specifically, I want to talk to you today about how to create one for your business. How do you utilize YouTube for your business? It's an awesome platform and it is a tool for you to reach a wider audience. So let's dive right into this video. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can check out my videos that are coming in the future. So the first thing you wanna do is channel topic. Figure out what your channel is about. Uh, what is your business about? What do you wanna talk about? This is where you're gonna to have to niche down and figure out specifically what you want to talk to people about. Is it educational? Is it inspirational? Is it entertainment? Those are all things that you need to write down and figure out what you wanna work with. For me, my channel is educational and I want to teach you and help you when it comes to business and social media and anything that comes in between that. Um, so I wanna help you learn how to use the, the tools that we've got. So when I say niche down, I say figure out specifically what you want to talk about. Is it, for example, is it what you want to talk about Instagram? Or if you're a skincare line, do you want to specifically talk about how to get rid of acne? Like niche down and figure out what you want to talk about. If you niche down, you are actually going to get better results in the end when it comes to people searching for you organically and also helping specific people for specific needs. The second thing that you want to do is do a brain dump. This to me sounds a little weird, but um, it helps. So when you get to sit down with a piece of paper or you're on your laptop, write out just a whole bunch of ideas that come to your, in your mind. It'll help bring up topics for your videos and also maybe narrow down what you wanna talk about. Then you wanna organize them to see which one is relevant to your niche. This way you're able to narrow it down just a little bit more and figure out uh, is this the way that you wanna go? Maybe you decided that you wanna go a different route with your channel and then a whole new channel topic comes to light. And then you wanna go into it and research. You wanna research and make sure that the video topics are actually pe what people want or if it is even relevant to your line of work. So this is all about digging, sitting down and digging a little bit deeper uh, into the channel and also to the videos um, because you wanna help people but you wanna reach people as well. And uh, this is a great way to figure out if it's even possible. The third thing that you wanna do is consistency. You need to figure out when you're gonna edit, you're gonna film, and you're gonna upload. Those three things are super important when it comes to your channel. You wanna be consistent, you wanna show that your uh, followers that you are there, that you are actually in it for the long haul. So what I like to do is I figure out a time and I block uh, time off to batch film, batch edit, and uh, I upload one at a time, obviously. So I figure out this within my schedule, so you're gonna need to figure out what, you're, what your schedule looks like and what you can fit into your life. The audience will gradually get to know your schedule. This way they show up without even you telling them. The other thing is you will redirect people to your, your YouTube channel. So you'll use Facebook, social, all different types of social media, and also you can use your, um, email list to also let them know that you've uploaded. But when you schedule, when you have a specific time of the week, which for me is Wednesday at 12, uh, if you upload at specific times of the week, they're gonna know that you're there, that this is the time that she uploads. So number four is edit and thumbnails. So you're gonna need to edit your videos. You need to take time and actually edit them. In the beginning, if you don't know how to edit, you can also outsource this, but if you just want to keep it simple, edit things uh, as simple as possible. Thumbnails are important, and also titling. Thumbnails and titling is actually one of the major things when it comes to your YouTube channel. So make sure it's your brand, make it your own, so that way people know that that is your thumbnail. Um, and title it to what it pertains to. Don't spam me and don't um, try to clickbait. Try and be uh, authentic and real when it comes to your videos. And using your title as the keyword is also gonna help you in the long run too. You'll gradually get an organic reach whenever you have a good title and thumbnail. Thumbnails are gonna drive people to your video. You can also purchase um, thumb templates for thumbnails or you can just use Canva or PicMonkey. I used those in the beginning 
That way it just was easy and I didn't have to pay anything extra. What I use is Photoshop. I just love Photoshop and anything to do with Adobe, it's just such an easy uh, software to use, for me at least. So if you just want something free and easy to use, uh, PicMonkey and Canva are going to be your go-to. So number five, micro content. And not a lot of people talk about this. It is becoming more of a thing, but not a lot of, a lot of people talk about this when it comes to your YouTube channel. So micro content is just little pieces from your YouTube videos that you take out and put onto other platforms. This drives people from that video to your YouTube channel once you link it in this, the description. Micro content is a great way to just put out as much content as possible, but also it utilizes what you've got. If you don't have a lot of time, this is a great way to just take from that video and post on different platforms. Gary V is a great uh, example of this, and you can see that in his, he puts out a ton of content, but he uses the videos that he posts on YouTube and takes pieces out of them and posts them onto other platforms. And you don't have to be Gary V, but you can just use this as a great way, as a tool um, to drive people to your YouTube channel. And also it helps people to get to know you better on different platforms too, because you are building a business and your brand. Number six, upload your video. Get excited, share with people on all different platforms. Um, let them know that you, you have uploaded, you've started your channel and you're trying to help others within this specific topic. Bear in mind, it can take a little time. YouTube is, uh, any platform is kind of a beast when it comes to sharing your thoughts and stuff. People think that once it's uploaded, it's just gonna help happen, but it takes a long time. And that's what your business is about. It's in your in for the long haul. If you want to help people, it's gonna be, it's gonna take you time to build that business up. So just remember that, that's my fair warning to you, that it will take a little bit of time to build it up. So that is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope this really helped you to understand or grasp how YouTube can be utilized as a tool for your business. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always guys, don't forget to create adventure and live to inspire. Have a good one.